And so just because something's defeated doesn't mean you don't have to keep that there's not resistance. So the idea, we are more than conquerors. Jesus defeated the enemy. We don't defeat him. He is defeated. Right? right? Now, it does say that all things have been put under Jesus' feet, which is now under our feet because we're in his body. And it says that, that the God of peace will crush, bruise Satan shortly under your feet. So there is still where we have to put our feet, where we still advance the kingdom of God. So there is still the connection or the um, contact, put it that way, contact with the enemy. But now it is from a, and this is the main point. You'll see this a little bit later on. I actually bring this out. The main thing we have to remember is this. When we fight, what we fight is the fight of faith, right? And the fight of faith is to stay in the spirit and not get in the natural. It is to stay in the spirit, stay on the word of God, believe the word of God, and not get drawn into the carnal, okay? Because what the enemy tries to do is his weapons are carnal, ours are not. So he tries to draw you into the natural, and if he can draw you into the natural, he can beat you because our weapons are not carnal, and we end up in the carnal realm without a weapon. But if we can keep in the spirit realm, and we stay on top of it and stay there and fight <clears throat> in the spirit realm, then we win because our weapons are not carnal, but they are spiritual. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And notice our weapons are for the pulling down of strongholds, which is what the enemy tries to use against us. And these strongholds are thought processes and teachings and doctrines that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Yeah. Right? So the fight is not hand-to-hand -hand against the devil. Okay? The fight, most of the fight, is not even in the spirit. Most of the fight is in the soul, but you have to fight it from the spirit. Yeah. See, the soul is the middle ground between the body, the physical, the carnal, and the spiritual. We fight from the spiritual. The devil fights from the carnal, from the natural. The battleground is the soul. And we have to decide if we're going to meet him with carnal weapons, which we have none, okay, or spiritual weapons. Amen? Are you with me so far? So the main fight is the fight of faith, to stay in the Word of God, to believe the Word of God, to believe that it's done, because all evidence will try to say it's not done. And if the minute you say it's not done, now you have just entered into the carnal realm, which is the sense realm, which is the physical realm, and you go by senses and how you feel, rather than what the Word of God says. Isn't that simple? Amen. Now, <laughs> even though it took me 25 minutes to describe it. So, <laughs> but... Now, so our position, and this is what we have to remember, we are not fighting to win. We are fighting from a position of victory, right? Listen, we don't have to take the hill. The hill has been taken by Jesus. It was called Calvary, right? He took it, okay? He raised his banner. It's called the cross. Amen? Are you with me? Amen. Now, he conquered that hill. We're not trying to get from here to there with an enemy between us. We were automatically put there. We were fighting from victory. All we have to do is keep the hill. Right? That's why we resist. Right? That's, we resist the devil. Why? Because he's trying to get us to come down off the hill. He's trying to get us to come down to the valley where we can fight in natural you know, means. So our job is to stay on top of the hill, stay in the position of victory, fight from the position that it is done, resist anything he attacks us with, because everything he attacks us with is going to be something out of the soul to say, God didn't keep his word because he says it's done, but it's not. And the minute you agree with that, you agree with the devil rather than agreeing with God. Okay? Now, whenever I minister to people, it's not a matter of me trying to get them well. Right? The, the fight in me that I do whenever I'm ministering to someone, and I'm talking about for physical healing, is that I have to be able to disconnect from everything else going around, other people, anything else happening, <clears throat> and I have to be able to stop, focus on this person, and then focus on Calvary. Okay, that's what I do. And I focus back and say, okay, this is not getting done right now. This was done back then. This thing does not have a right to be here because it was defeated then. And at that point, it was deemed illegal for this thing to be here now. So my job now is simply to say that's done. This has to go because this person 
inside is healed and this thing is trying to say they're not. So my job literally is to get that off of them, but I do that by recognizing what's in them and what's in them is what was done 2,000 years ago. Right. Okay. Bottom line, that's the fight of faith. That's what I do when I minister to the sick. Now, I release life, but that's to get this thing off of them but it's not a matter of defeating. I'm not going to say, okay, let's see what we can do with this. Let's go in and let's, let's see if we can beat this thing. And now, those are some of the terminologies that get thrown around sometimes, but if you're going to be accurate, it's not a matter of seeing if you can beat this. It was already beat. You know, really what it comes down to is, do you have the ability to stand? Really, that's what it comes down to. Do you have in you, by the Spirit of God, the ability to just stand and to, <clears throat> do you have the ability to look at this person look through them and see what this book says. Because as I've said before, what is in this book has to become more real to you than what you see standing in front of you. And until then, you're not going to affect any kind of change in their body. But whenever this book is more real than what you see standing in front of you, then their body will begin to line up with this book. Right? Regardless of what they believe or don't believe or anything else.